Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Ashton and I'm back in another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my OBS recording settings and Sony Vegas render settings. Cause you guys have been asking me why my gameplay is so smooth and if I could share you my recording settings and render settings with you guys. So if you guys ever enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications and stay active for more awesome content cause it helps me out a ton. And of course, if you have any questions, make sure to comment and I'll be happy to answer them. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so let's get started. So for the sources, um, for my recording, I use display capture instead of game capture because display capture has like a better performance and your frames don't drop in game as much as a game capture. So I prefer display capture over game capture. The image and video capture devices right here, you don't have to acknowledge, it's my webcam border and um, webcam. So yeah, let's move on to the settings. So for um, my output, um, this is my stream settings. I use Streamlabs down here, so you don't have to copy that. For recording, I use standard um, recording format, MP4, encoder, NVIDIA, um, rescale output 1920 by 1080. Um, for my rate control, I use CQP, CQ levels 14, keyframe info zero, max performance high, look ahead, cycle visual turning zero for GPU and zero max B frames. So I'm gonna explain all, all this stuff. The um, reason why you wanna do MP4 format is because this is the format that YouTube encodes in. Um, my encoder, I use the NVIDIA graphics card because the graphics cards are really, really good at recording the NVIDIA graphics card itself. So make sure to use that. My output is 1920 by 1080. Um, I don't re record in um, 2560 by 1440p because it makes your gameplay look fuzzy and it makes um, also your gameplay look small. So the reason why I use CQP um, is because it's like one of the best recording features. CQP level, I, I prefer going around 14 to 16, but I use 14 because it's the best one. Uh, max performance is really important. Profile high, keyframe zero, all the stuff down here. Make sure to copy that down if you want to have the same settings as me. My audio, um, nothing similar. My replay blaster, I have nothing on. So for my audio, I use my microphone. Uh, my desktop audio is default. My sample rate is 48 um, K Hertz um, and my channel is stereo. So now let's go to my video. So for video, I use 1920 by 1080 for um, base and output resolution. Um, I don't, once again, I don't record in 1440p because it makes your gameplay fuzzy and makes your gameplay also look small. For my downscaler, I use bilinear because it gives you this little motion blur effect which make your gameplay look, look really smooth as well. So, um, and also I record in 240 FPS. Um, the reason why I record in 240 FPS is because it's like in the middle of 360 and 120 FPS. For 360 FPS, my um, recording starts to lag a lot. So I, I just like to go with 240 FPS because it's, it's the smoothest option available for me. Now for hotkeys, nothing important. I don't use hotkeys. Um, now for um, general, I use my high process priority. Um, my video is Direct3D 11, color format NVIDIA 12, color space 709. Color range partial. You could also do 601 full color range. I'm recording now, so I can't change that. And everything else down here is just a default. So, all right, boys, now that we're done with that, let's go into the Vegas settings. All right, boys, so now we're in Vegas. Um, I'm gonna go over one of the most important parts of um, your renders, and that's the um, proper properties of your projects. So, go with 1920 by 1080 once again, because that's the thing you're gonna record in. Your HDMI off, I don't know how to pronounce it, stereoscopic 3D mode, um, field order none, pixel aspect ratio, keep it at squared, um, output rotation, zero degrees, frame rate 240, cause that's what you're recording in. Um, and that's what I record in. So pixel format, 8-bit, um, this is default. Um, full, res full resolution rendering quality, put that at best, and that's what I use. My motion blur type, I use this box. Um, the intellect, I don't know how to pronounce that too, I'm sorry boys, um, is non resample mode, smart resample, because that's what give you, that's what gives you the motion blur. Um, and for adjust source media to better match the product your render settings, um, cl click that, and right here, pre-render files before, it doesn't matter. So once you have that, click save and click OK. Um, so I'm going to try to get um, something in here. So let's like, here are the pre-recordings. Um, for the videos, I'm gonna put this in. So when you put that in, you wanna go up here 
and make sure that like this matches the project settings but if it starts lagging just put it on disable for example then you can edit it then once you're done editing you can just come back to it turn smart for example back on and then you'll be able to render so for the rendering part if you want to render just do double click that and go to file render as and now let's go into uh, my filters so if you, so the first thing you got to do is click on the magic abc slash aac mp3 format and choose internet hd um 1080p 59.94 and the video um nvenc click on that so start off with you're gonna go with a high profile that's what I, I do. Um, frame rate, you're gonna put that at 60. Field order, none. Pixel tracer, one. Um, bit rate, you put that at 240. Also, this is at 240. Um, number of slices, this doesn't matter. Encode mode, NVIDIA encoder, your presence, you're gonna put it at a high performance um, because it'll make your rendering a lot faster and a lot um, smoother better than high quality for sure um for rc row to choose vbr or um vbr quality i prefer you, that you go with vbr um now for me um video rendering quality audio doesn't really matter it just it's default so you're gonna click on best um right here keep that default color space srgb and put that at limited default once you've done that click save give it a name and click OK. Um, so as you can see, these are the render settings before they're matching. I'm not scamming you guys, because why would I do that? You guys are the best. And yeah, boys. So once you're done, just click render and then it will be rendering. All right, so the last part is, yo Ashton, why are you not upscaling in 1440p or 4K? So what I do is I have an upscale folder with um, the upscaler. You're going to make a new full folder, you probably title it upscale or something. Um, then look in the link in the description. This is the upscaler. You're going to place it in that folder. Once you do that, it'll take a while to do that. Then click OK. We don't need this folder, but here's the, my upscale form. So when you ha um, have the upscale folder, you're going to grab like one of your files. Um, and you're gonna put it in there. Then you're gonna click on the upscaler itself, run. Then you're gonna do press two, then enter. So it'll tell it'll tell you the time down below, like how long it's passed and stuff. Um, it'll close out on its own when it's done. That's how you know. So right now the one we're upscaling is at 1080p, and the upscaled one is gonna be at 4K, so, which is pretty cool. I because when you're gonna if you were to render, um in Vegas in 4k it will make your video a lot blurrier and it would take away some of the frames so just the reason why you use an upscaler is because no frames will be lost but it'll actually increase your frames as you can see right now because the in frames are in increasing right now all right boys so once it's done just click the converter folder and I'll show you the properties that it's true um so look see you're going to details it's in the 4k format which is pretty cool Previously, it was in the um, previously it was at um, 1080p, and the upscaled one is at 4K. So yeah, boys, if you found this video helpful, once again, make sure to like, subscribe, um, and if you have any questions, comment down below, and I'll be happy to answer them. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.